we are going through the Taco Bell drive through Oh, God. I know. You know what? I've been doing pretty good, like, no fast food. Like, I truly don't crave it that often. But we're having a late start to our Hot Topics today. And we just had no food at our house today. I don't know. And I have been craving weirdly. I don't know if it's going to be as good, but I used to always get a quesadilla. And you guys know I get chips and cheese from Taco Bell. And it's kind of like, oh, chips and cheese sound good. But weirdly, like, uh, since I did Jake Weber's video he, where we did, like, our favorite fast food orders, his favorite fast food order was chicken quesadillas and nachos and cheese, which is, like, what I get, like, chips and cheese. So I was kind of like, and it was so good that day. I don't know if it was because I was hungry or what. But I was like, let me try and get that again. One time I had the quesadillas and I was like, whoa, like, it was so awful. So I'm going to try them again. Um, right across the way is McDonald's, but I know we're all boycotting McDonald's. Um, and I wanted to try their McDonald's sauce, the little anime. I'm kind of dressed a little bit like, well, it's, it's like a gamer girl church today, but I feel like a little anime and I'm like, I really want to go get that sauce. I did have McDonald's breakfast the other day, but you know, I try to like, I try to keep up the best I can. I don't know. I mean, it's like, I swear every day is like a new boycott, which totally valid. I get it. You know, because no, I don't keep up on anything. So <sighs> I don't know. Anyways, we're at Taco Bell. Taco Bell seems to be unproblematic for the most part, you know? And we love, we love to see that. So, getting Taco Bell. We're doing a late start to the Hot Topics today. That's a loud speaker. Watch the Oscars. I'm trying to save my voice for Hot Topics because we go like three hours on Hot Topics and then we do like another 45 minutes for Patreon, so... I'm gonna save my voice and yeah got my nails done oh you literally can't see the color they're supposed to be lavender they look white but now they kind of look lavender but in person they look so white to me it's kind of like but i never i never re ask for a redo on my nails one i'm just like tired at the end of getting my nails and i just get a regular manicure i'm just like so exhausted i don't know how i sit i used to sit when i said those acrylic nails with the stones on them i used to sit for literally four to five hours when i used to get the art like the hand painted art and they would come to my house, it would literally take eight hours. I'm like, this is pre kit, like, <sighs> wild, okay? <laughs> eight hours, I could just sit there. I was like, wow, that's really crazy. Oh, it's so nice out. Ooh, they have an empanada. Okay, okay, I'm into it. Hello, that's the best for you Hi, yes, could I get a chicken quesadilla? Okay. And, um, can I also get two orders of chips and cheese? Okay. And, um, can I just get a cup of water? Just one? Just one, yeah. Okay. And I think that's it. Any that for you? Uh, no, thank you. You said it's gonna be 209. We'd like to run that at 91. Okay. Thank you. Um, I know Seth Rogen's been on this, like, no kids press tour right now. Like, he's basically, every, every interview he has, he talks about, like, why he loves not having kids and how he doesn't regret it, which is good. You know, like, it's good. More people should talk about it. I'm not, like, bashing it or whatever. But it is crazy, like, when you do have kids, like, you know, just everything. Like, you're just like, oh, my gosh, I had so much time. But, oh, this, this is the lighting. This is what I needed the whole time. Okay. So, I was like, hi. Ugh. Card, the big one. You know what? I traded it in. No. Yeah. Yeah. It was, you know, I'm having another baby, so it just makes sense to have a bigger car. Yeah, we know that you're having another baby. Oh, you do? <laughs> oh, congrats. What are you do? Um, August. I think August. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. May. May. Oh, Coming oh, soon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <that's awesome. laughs> Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. Um, and and he is right. Seth Rogen is right. It's like, yeah, if you want every morning, every weekend to yourself and just do whatever. Yeah, like don't have kids. Um, and I was a pretty selfish person before. 
I was, I was a very selfish person before having kids. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know. It's kind of like, I, I guess you just feel if you want them or not. I think you kind of know your, your body obviously knows or whatever. Um, or just, you know. And I just always wanted kids, even though I was like a really selfish person and I knew it would like change my whole life. And like, obviously like it's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't even believe that I'm a mom, like dream come true. But, but you know, for the people who like don't want to have kids and you know, it's like society does put a lot of pressure on you to have kids. Um, where was I even going with that? That's the broken. Oh, I guess just, I had a lot of time to get my nails done sitting around. I guess this lighting is no way though. This kind of has a weird smell to it. And I've been really sensitive to smells lately. kind of weird it's like I know it's like it smells like tuna <laughs> which I might not eat this because honestly smells have made me literally like throw up lately okay yeah it's pretty pretty potent um but yeah I always think it's good when people like advocate also like it's okay to not have kids because I just feel like society does put a lot of pressure on people to have kids and maybe people there's a lot of people I know just like not that I know that I see on social media that like regret having kids or you know whatever and you know it's good to be honest about it right because I think it helps people who are on the fence about it um but society pressures of it all y'all you know um okay let's go back a notch they're so nice at that Taco Bell that's it smells like tuna I know that sounds like really weird and crazy but it smells like tuna Wow, that's crazy. It was good. I was pregnant last time I had it. It was good, so. Let's see what this... Ooh, it's nice and warm. It is warm. It doesn't smell too bad. Let's see. Okay, it looks good. It's... Okay, I don't know. Maybe my smell wasn't coming from this. That's... Ooh, it looks so good! All right, I did try try some on tiktok so i'm back i'm back for you guys for long form the chips and cheese are so good <laughs> the you see it was good to write the whole thing oh the whole first piece i'll show you i got three more pieces left i like the end pieces but they're pretty they're pretty crispy crunchy pretty well done today Mm. The cheese is good. It's nice and hot and fresh. I'm here for it. It's crazy how much YouTube has changed, how much my paths have changed. I think about, I think because I've done it so long now, 17 years on social media, how much my path changes career wise like mukbangs used to be it for me like oh my god i would do like mukbangs i think every day i think vlog myself like 2016 or 2017 i was doing like two mukbangs a day <laughs> and it was like a simple time back then i would literally get glam in the morning like 2016 2017 um just film a ton of videos knowing that I'd be ahead and it was just so fun to post and lots of views, lots of money. And it just changed so much. 2017, I think the PewDiePie thing happened where all the AdSense was like going away. Like people just like weren't getting the AdSense they were. That's like when it really started to like dip. Funny enough, I went to Patreon. Patreon like saved me so much. Like 2017, 2018. All the way, like, really till 2019, I was doing Patreon. And that was great. Oh, my God. Like, literally, it was making more than YouTube, AdSense, all stuff like that. Um, and then 2020 came around, OF. That was, like, my career path for so long. Then I kind of was like, where do I go now? And then the podcast has been so great and so wonderful. Like, who knew? And through that, we started doing Patreon again because so many podcasts do Patreon. And that's been so wonderful. Like, all over again. There's so much, there's so many wonderful ways to make a living online. Now there's TikTok shop and Etsy and 
I don't know. It's just like, do people, do you work a job where you go into the office? Like, is there still nine to five jobs? I know there is, but like, do you work from home? Are you remote? Because obviously I have family and stuff that used to go into like nine to five work, like office buildings, and they just are remote now. They never go in. They live in a completely different state. I was like, gosh, times really have like changed so much, haven't they? And I think it's good. I mean, who wouldn't want to work from home, right? Or is it harder? I remember I did homeschool in high school for like a year and a half and I never did my work because I was home and I was like, why am I going to do schoolwork in my home? <laughs> I don't have a teacher to answer to. So is it harder to work from home because you're distracted? <laughs> like I had to have an office in my house so I can like go there to work, you know? Otherwise... I'm just going to always be playing with Malibu, which I want to. That's why I play the lottery. Yeah. But. Guess there's pros and cons to it. This reminds me of old school mukbang. I didn't talk about eating it in my car. <laughs> and then I'm like, are mukbangs even a thing? Because, like, the last mukbanger I watched was probably Stephanie Sue. But I think she's just, like, killing it in the podcast game, too. I don't even think she eats anymore. She just tells her true crime stories. But she used to make food and talk about it. Which was smart and innovative, but I always, I never understood, like, I didn't, <clears throat> I couldn't watch them because they would scare me. I watched some of them, and they weren't too bad, but <laughs> it was always so funny because they would talk about, like, true crime, which is obviously very serious and, like, scary and all that stuff. But then I also have, like, the Korean fried cheese and <laughs> doing cheese bowls. I was like, okay. Yeah. These are so good. My whole TikTok now is yeah, child free by choice. <laughs> or I'm talking about going from one to two and how hard it is. And I've talked about that before in here because a lot of you guys are like, it's fine, you'll be fine. TikTok really be trying to scare you. Like on some real. They always give me going to Target. I never go to Target alone anymore. <laughs> I used to go to Target by myself, and I'm like, oh. There just seems to be so many scams. Woo! Spicy, spicy. That cheese is really so good there, though. I'm here for it. Uh, I need to meditate more at night. I feel like I've been having weird dreams lately that feel too real, and I wake up from it, and I'm always like, oh, too real. like in my bed meditation just came to mind too many thoughts this pregnancy i haven't meditated nearly half as much i'm lucky to get like two or three days a week of meditation it's usually like a half hour i need to prioritize that it's just so hard to like leave the bed and we cuddle with malibu in the morning and it's like She's so sleepy in the morning, and so she, like, comes into bed, and we just, like, you know, have our little mornings. Um, 
And then we usually do breakfast and she likes to play right away. I don't know. We're all done. I know it's gonna mess up my lips. But they are good. Mm-hmm. It's like a spicy cheese. Are we boycotting Wendy's again? Or are they okay? Because they're not going to price gouge anymore at price surge. <laughs> Cause I do miss some Wendy's. Hmm. I'm finally getting back into guest interviews this week. I had so many stacked up that I was feeling so bad. I was like, oh my god. I'm going to get children interviews for a minute. Because I have some from January I still haven't posted. Oh my god, I don't want to get too backed up. So I'm doing interviews now again because we have three pre-recorded left. And then I'll start <laughs> piling a little more up. I think in January, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to pile all these up <laughs> for when I get birth. So I was like thinking like going through May. But then they just feel outdated and I always feel bad like... The gas are always like, when is it going up? So I just I just didn't know how I was gonna feel in the third trimester. And let me tell you, I am getting tired. I am tired. More more hair in front. Um so we'll see. <laughs> I wanna pre-record, but I have no idea how it's gonna if it's gonna play out because I'm I get tired. And so the interviews are a little shorter. I used to go over three hours. I was like, I like to do an hour and a half, you know? I feel like two hours is like the sweet spot that people like. And I love talking. I love interviewing people. It's more how I sit. I think I like lean back and talk to people. It might be easier, but I'm sitting up the whole time, so I'm like, oh. I always carry a super high. Did my car just turn on? I feel like it's been on. I think it just turned on. This is so good. I'm going to do the chips and cheese right now. wait to meet this baby though oh my god like last time I loved being pregnant I was so scared to actually be a mom and like do the mothering and parenting because I was like oh, I don't know if I can change a diaper I don't know if I'm going to be able to wake up oh and while I know it's going to be like so chaotic two babies <laughs> I'm just excited to meet her as your personality I love rewatching footage of the first day with Malibu right after giving birth. I see so much of her in that baby. And at the time, I just was like, I don't, you know, it was like so overwhelming. But I just, I do remember feeling like, oh my God, we did it. We made it. You're here. Feeling so surreal, so happy. And she was so tiny. And they do grow up so fast. So if people say they don't have kids, I totally respect it. I totally get it. But let me tell you as someone, if you're, well, I don't want to say that because if you're on the fence about it, have kids, but maybe not. <laughs> I always knew. I always was like, I want kids. I want kids. I want kids. I never knew how hard it would be. I never know how much of a toll it would take on me. And how it didn't come naturally to me like I thought it would at first. And now it just is like, I couldn't imagine my life without her. Like, it gives me purpose. And I think it's because, like, I just didn't 
no, I just didn't, I, I never felt like I had a purpose before. And I think there's so many different purposes on this earth, right? This world, right? To entertain people, to care for others, to, you know, heal, to help someone, to love someone. Like there's so many purposes, right? Um, but I really do feel like mine is being a mom and I was scared when I first had her first like six months probably I just was like oh my god what am I doing I'm so whatever but I guess for those of you who are like I'm too selfish to have kids but I want them it changes you a lot I don't know obviously teach your own it's a big decision but ever since I was like 24 I was like I want to have kids I want to have kids it was like in me you know And while we both are like, okay, I think we're done at two. I, mean, I don't think we're going to actively try for a third. But then there's that little like, what if it happens, you know, <laughs> when we're not trying or something. And that gets like a little exciting. But I like the idea of two having one for each parent to like look at all the time, you know, because three, there is just going to be one extra. You're outnumbered. <laughs> but I like being one of three. They get cheese, I can't even see. My belly is so big. <laughs> Anyways. Thanks for chit chatting with me while I eat Taco Bell. It was pretty tasty. What a weird craving that was, because. Let me tell you, I never, I'm like, mm, mom wants some Taco Bell. But that Taco Bell was fire. Okay. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Um, we took headshots this morning. So headshot of the month. I'm a patron. Oh, speaking of, I have a new Patreon. Not a promo for it, but kind of. Patreon.com slash just Trish. We post two bonus videos um, every week on there. Post the extended podcast on Wednesday, which is like another hour of hot topics that we didn't get to, which I want to discuss on the main podcast. And then Saturday, we, we I think we did Fortnite. I actually got my first little, you know, pew pew. Um, so that is up Saturday. I actually did pretty good. My sister joined us in that. Um, there's headshot tiers where you can get stuff in the mail for me, headshot stickers, and then there's the producer tier where you can be a producer on the show where I ask for your hot topic suggestions, your name's in the credits, you guys get extra goodies in the mail for me. So, um, if you want to subscribe, they start at $5 a month for an extra, for four extra podcast episodes, and we really like doing them. I could talk forever. It's just relaxed and a good vibe over there. So, patreon.com slash Just Trish if you guys want to check it out. And then my podcast, Just Trish. Thank you guys for listening to it. Like, truly, truly, truly from the bottom of my heart. Like, I can't believe how well it does, how many people like it. And I love doing it. And I love doing everything I do. Like, I like just sitting here talking to you guys. Um, you know, not a lot of people watch. That's fine. But it is kind of fun when a lot of people watch. You get really excited. You get, I get excited to check the numbers. And I only check my numbers. I don't only care about how I'm doing. I'm always like, how am I doing? And I always get very excited and it's, 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 uh, it's a blessing. And no matter how long the wave lasts, I want it to last 10 years. Um, you know, I ride it. Um, there's always something new and I love you guys. And here's to winning the lottery. Tonight. <laughs> I'll probably still be making videos if I win the lottery because it's fun and I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.